Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt Skega, and I've been playing some Shangri-La lately, and it's a lot of fun, actually. Um, I really just kind of got away from this map. I enjoyed it when it first came out, and then I was like, you know what? It's kind of a harder map. You can't get as far. Um, it's harder to, um, you know, just kite zombies and stuff like that. But uh, me and my friends have been playing four-person, and, you know, we've just been uh, using the minecart strategy. Camping. I actually did a video about this a while back on how, um, in my opinion, it's the best camping spot on this map. And um, it's actually a really good strategy because I'm not sure if you'll see in this clip. But um, if you get in trouble, I mean, you just hop on the minecart and take the minecart down. Then you run up through from the lake to the tunnel and then you go through the little room with the quicksand and then you just jump right back down the. Uh, the water slide and that'll take you right to the room with the water chute that shoots you right back up here so then you can just get set up again and uh, this is a really fun strategy especially if you mainly go for like explosives you can see here I have a Mustang and Sally and a ray gun and I think my other gun is in HK just for uh, I mean it gets you points and you can still kill zombies and stuff like that um, other really good guns to get with this strategy are the law I think I ended up getting that um, Either this round or the next round. I don't know if you'll see it though, because I had a crawler, so I just cut the rest of this round out. But um, I didn't get a chance to upgrade it, but I think my friend Cam did. And that's a really good gun to upgrade. It's really powerful, and you get a pretty good amount of ammo with it. Um, also, um, oh yeah, I'd say this one thing that makes this strategy really good is the ability to get max ammos. Um, because if you just see a drop, say you get like a carpenter or something, carpenters are pretty useless. So um, it really helps to get like an awful Lawton, upgraded crossbow, or monkey bombs. And then if you see a power up, you just kind of like kill the monkeys or um, throw a monkey bomb and that'll distract them and then let the um, let one of the monkeys come and take it and then you got to chase it and switch it to a max ammo. So uh, that's really helpful that helps you get through the rounds a lot quicker and stuff like that and um, see here I'm just kinda in the box and I mean it's an insta kill like I'm not gonna go down on an insta kill generally um, so yeah this is just a really fun strategy I mean obviously you're not gonna get to really high rounds like it's like I think the best I've gotten to this is like 23 or something I think I like this game we played one night we got to like 22 and then the next night we got to 22 or 23 um, yeah, which was actually like last night, but, um, in, yeah, like I said, you're not going to be getting to like 40 or anything with this strategy, but it is a lot of fun, and it's just fun to take a break from, uh, the usual, and, uh, do something different for once in a while, and, like I said, it's not always about the high rounds, I mean, it's just fun doing stuff like this every once in a while or like other challenges and stuff like that. I'd say the two most essential perks for this strategy are Jog and definitely PhD Flopper because first of all you're gonna save your own life with PhD Flopper and then like you can just like you won't down yourself with your explosives but also if you're like gonna get trapped or something you just like pull out your ray gun or your Mustang and Sally's and just spam the ground and that'll save you so that's really helpful in that aspect so um yeah, that's really all I have to say about this. I mean, I really didn't like Shangri-La that much, but I'm starting to get back into it just because it's really fun. And uh, yesterday is actually uh, the one game we were playing. I went down and I just lost everything. So I was like, well, I can't do anything. So I just went and bought, I only had like 3,000 points. So I went and bought Jug and then I just kited around uh, 74U for a while. And then I got enough points for the... Um, uh, you had to buy the 74U, so I just like coin hoarded up and ended up getting back to like 20,000. So, I mean, it's pretty good. You can do this, or if you want to mix it up, you could probably go farther if you just have people kiting. Like, uh, I was kiting 74U, someone was like up here by the MPL or something, someone else is running loops around the map, and uh, just stuff like that. That's a pretty effective strategy, but this is still fun nonetheless. Um, last thing I want to say is my montage is actually coming out in a week, uh, week from tomorrow, I believe, November 1st. Uh, it's looking pretty sick. I'm almost done editing it. Yeah, I know I'm kind of procrastinating on it at this point, but I got schoolwork and stuff to deal with. 
But um, yeah, guys, definitely look forward to that if you didn't know about it, because I think I got a lot of subs from uh, Zombie Slaying Nation and stuff like that. But yeah, if you didn't know, I play a lot of zombies, but I also do montages and stuff like that. So look forward to that, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Matt Skiga. See you later.